Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Holy Roman Record Race in Europa Universalis 4. So I am still considering integrating the Hansa because of the increased amount of income it will give us. It would be pretty significant. And we're waiting now till January so that we can actually go ahead and do this peace deal once our overextension is down a little bit. We can also make a lot more money from trade if we weren't overextended, but... I still feel like a mixture of direct coring and vassal coring is going to be faster than just trying to purely feed vassals. So that's what we're going to do. I haven't checked truce timers in a while. New Spain and Spain are June of 79, so that's next year. Okay. I think we hold off on declaring any other wars, and we just focus on having a huge naval invasion force ready down here. So let's go organize the navies. All these armies, my goodness. Okay, so we've got a full-on light ship that is protecting trade in the English Channel. Perfect. Full-on light ship protecting in Lubeck. Good. 18 heavies, 73 transports in London. No light ships. So 34 transport... or 34 heavies... 83 transports. Yeah, 10 more transports here. Get them over there. Got one more transport down here. Have you go join the fleet as well. And that is the end of the ships. We also have 10 light ships who are protecting trade in Sevilla. Does that make sense? Should we be doing that? I mean, they're giving us 52 some trade power, but we've got an overextension penalty collecting from trade, not capital. Actually, we're not getting overextension penalty. Interesting. I think it's probably worth it. They're making money. They're doing all right. We can take out an, an idea. Trade efficiency plus 10%. Sure, that's probably better than integrating the, the Hansa right the second. Plus, I can't do it right the second. We need to get their opinion higher. So, right, I was also considering raising autonomy here. Sorry, lowering autonomy here. Making them rebel. Keeping this... Let's do that. See if we can get them to rebel. We'll move the army off so that it actually has higher unrest and fires soon. And we'll kill the army and then we can leave the army... leave that country alone. We have troops in foreign territory. Indeed we do. Alright, so we're at war with Dali. They are not somebody we can really take any land from. We're just waiting until cores are done, really. Okay, the English Patriots. Oh man, take ten, nine years. They're not gonna rebel. Oh man. Well, it's a good thing we have 100 Papal Influence. Aha! We are immune. Immune to comets! And I can't forget that the... The uh, Papal State is our vassal, but they are not a member of the HRE, so we've got to integrate them before the end of the game. Alright, so... When we go to war with Spain, Spain is still allied with Portugal, so they're going to bring in Portugal as well. We'll have a truce. 82. So, Portugal is not going to be a co-belligerent, but we can still take land from them. I think we'll take, um, like these three, so they just still have two provinces down here. So they can't move their capital again. But we just want to take, um, we want to get like 30 to 40% over of the war score cost of their territory. If we can get them below 200%, then it's just two more wars to go. Oh, we're trying to become Papal Controller. 19% chance. Oh, right, we've got you full occupied now. But because the other people are involved, you won't say yes. 
We'll transfer occupations to Sienna. And I wasn't really expecting that we'd be able to get all the land. Plus, with Vassal transferring, you can't really get it all at once anyway. But we'll just give you all that land. It's only 18 peace offer. Short truce. Good. We don't need your money, actually. One war score for 15 ducats. Bye. We'll just keep those armies there. They're probably not going to be good enough, are they? Okay. That will probably be enough defense down there for them. Meanwhile, we're waiting on... January. And Chu. So we're all the way over here. It's going pretty well. I don't even know why I'm doing these sieges. I don't need them. Manpower debt's at 60,000, though. That's a good sign. Okay, there's Gotland. Puts us down to 60% overextension, and... If I remember correctly, I forgot now, actually. The land that I wanted, I was going to take the three claims, was... 3, 4, 11 base tax, which would normally be 44% minus 25% is 33% overextension. So now we're good. Okay, so yes, you give Bremen a bunch of land, you give me a bunch that I can handle. Actually, uh... Just give me what I can handle. Well, I can I can actually handle another seven percent. Just give me those two as well. And if we'd waited just a second, we're actually about to core another nine percent. Oh well, it's fine. Total war score cost of Oirat is now down to 320%. It's going to take a few wars no matter what we do. We'll convert Gotland. And we will march our people home. Nice supply limit in Kipshak. Not bad here. We'll use that as a staging ground, but then we'll split them off. Okay, we're actually at peace. So, um, I think we need to sell, like, this province here to a uh, vassal, and then we create an extra little guy between us on the top and Bremen below us. Royal marriages from all the things. I haven't missed anything down there, have I? No. These guys are not going to rebel. So I think we just move off then. Even with lowered autonomy. It's just not going to cause any problems, really. Only 6% right now, but that's because the army's here. Um, provincial trade power is at 75 you know, the low autonomy doesn't really affect it that much because of the way that those modifiers, they're additive, not multiplicative. So it's like, not a big deal, really. Anyway, attach. Let's bring the whole thing down to, I think, here. We we'll want an invasion force for this area. We're going to want an invasion force down here, which we already have. This is more than enough, I think, for Portugal. Um, we cannot enter Terra Incognita, but we can enter this. So we can use this force against this area. I think we'll need a few more troops for that, though. Let's, um, protect these cores for a little while longer. We can send this 17 stack down. We'll also be at war with Portugal up here.
So we'll position ourselves to invade them here. This 50 stack does not need to be... Actually, yes, it does, obviously. We're going to fight Spain. They have armies here. Keep one right here. We don't want to let their capital get moved. I assume Sienna's been claiming everything. Good. Or, sorry, not Sienna. Savoy. Are there any policies that could benefit us right now? Hmm. Subject force limit contribution. Well, if we wanted even more men, <laughs> we could. But we, we just don't have the manpower for it. It's funny. The manpower from the Holy Roman Empire is actually really low. That's okay, because I'm going to give that all to Savoy. Excuse me? Wait, excuse me? How did that happen? I didn't even know that they were sieging. I didn't even realize it had happened. I just completely missed that. So, I court it. And then it... Just fired? It was liberated. From enemy occupation on the same date that it was annexed. I guess I just completely missed it, wow. That's a bunch of crap. I lost my core too, right? No, I didn't. Okay, well it's not a big deal then, I'll just attack him. Still, that was stupid. We can full annex you in the next war, right? If I wanted to take it myself. Austria's administrative efficiency. Oh, wow, yeah. So hold on, if we have... If we have, um... Diplomatic. Province war score cost minus 20%. And then we have, let's say, like, administrative efficiency at level 29. 25, 25, 25, 75. Do we actually have 95% reduction in war score cost of provinces? Is that how that works? That seems crazy. That seems like a lot. Maybe that's just me, but that seems like a lot of reduction. Okay, that's not good. You guys are suffering a lot of attrition as well, because you are far too many troops. We just take the guy that's already moving and send him over there. And take this guy to here. The thing is, he's too, he's too big anyway as well. It's just a lot of men over here. Oh well, many, many, many troops will die while we're trying to retract our troops from the oil route. It happens. This 37 stack, though, is safe here. And you are actually a 35 plus 8. So 43 is too much. Keep marching. We have to pay some attention to them as they recover. Okay, the transport did its job. We are oversupply, but not by too much. I'm okay with that one. Let's grab this fleet or this army down here and put it down. Oh, really? A chance for a fleet can't be used? Oh, it's been disabled. There we go. Supplies 
supply limit down here is 41, so we'll suffer a tiny bit of attrition while we wait for that. And the truce with Spain is up, so we can declare on them now. But before we do that, oh, they've joined a coalition against us. It's like they heard me talking about them. They're going to bring in Oman and Persia. Alright, whatever. Doesn't really matter too much, does it? About to finish the core of London. That'll be nice. Well, I'd like to get that, that other army down there, but um, let's just go ahead and start it before anyone else joins the coalition. We'll use imperialism, of course. Before we do that, um, I don't need to sell any cores, no. I don't need to do any of that. Okay. So, alright, Spain. Um, I have four leaders. I've got one here who's doing nothing. I've got one over here who is doing something. You're doing something. And two that are unappointed. We'll use the two that are unappointed to lead these two armies. Smash the Spanish resistance. We'll take this army. We're waiting for Portugal to join. They haven't joined yet. I did not consider that land. Let's just wait a couple days. Move on their capital. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. March. I want to kill the armies. And then we'll worry about sieges. Alright, um, split, split, split. Come on now. One stays behind, one goes there, one goes there, one goes this. Oh. It's counting wrong. Yeah, that takes care of Spain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There is an army down here, but I think we'll win that fight pretty handily. And I've already spread them out. Um, down here... We'll do that. Transport fleet's on its way down. It's suffering attrition. That's fine. I wish I could get rid of these. Somali and Nubian. Nubian... Accepted culture in Siena, I believe. Yeah, they accept both. So, alright. Well, next piece, I'm going to sell these to them. Shoot! You know what? I was, uh... Right, okay. That's the other reason I need peace, so I can actually sell land to Siena. And they need to be un... They need to finish all their cores. Well, they're not going to gain anything in this war. So, after they finish their cores, I can sell them one. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.